What's going on everyone and welcome back to another skill cap video. Today we've got a brand new topic where we break down 10 builds or rune setups that one tricks are spamming in solo queue. Each setup will feature has a high play rate and success rate among one trick players while the average player doesn't prioritize the build nearly as often. In other words, each setup is underused by the average player base while one tricks are using them at a much higher rate. But before we get into it, be sure to check out skill capped if you want to truly get better at League of Legends. We're the only service that offers a money back guarantee if you don't climb at least five divisions while actively using our service. We do this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, then you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description for a special discount. So with that said, let's get right into it. Volley Bear One Tricks don't mess around with any basic bruiser builds as they're prioritizing full out AP. Setup is a Nasher's Tooth Rush into Rift Maker second. Third item depends on the situation, but a Spirit Visage for more tankiness or Cosmic Drive for more damage are the two most popular options. All right, so what makes AP Volley Bear so strong? If you're unaware, Volley actually has multiple very high AP ratios on his abilities. Passive damage is 40%, E-Shield is 80%, and ultimate damage sits at 125%. Nashers and Riftmaker are the perfect combination to take advantage of this. Volley deals a solid chunk of his damage through auto attacking, so Nashers attack speed and on hit damage fits in well. The amping effects of Riftmaker allow you to thrive in those extended fights. Throw in a Spirit Visage and your ability to out sustain throughout drawn out skirmishes is completely insane. Your split push potential on Nashers and Riftmaker completion is really surprising as well. Volley Ultimate deals damage to turrets and since his R has a 125% AP ratio, you can knock towers down in an instant. Your rune page will be press the attack with presence of mind, tenacity, and last stand. Grab second wind and revitalize for secondaries. Although most Nasus players are using grasp or fleet footwork right now, Spellbook is by far the most popular amongst one tricks. Spellbook is so great for Nasus as it allows him to run Ghost and Flash, which are vital for his success, while still being able to swap over to Teleport. The whole inspiration tree complements Nasus extremely well as magical footwear gives you extra move speed and lets you scale to your mid-game spike faster. Biscuits are great to help with early sustain while approach velocity gives you amazing sticking power. Secondary runes are second wind to add to that early sustain along with unflinching so you're less easily kited. It's not just the rune page that differs between average Nasus players and the best one tricks though. One trick Nasus's heavily prioritize stone plate as their second purchase instead of the more common frozen and heart. Since Nasus Ultimate provides him with bonus health and the Stone Plate Shield scales off bonus health, it's really a no-brainer pickup. The mix of tankiness and damage you'll have from Divine into Stone Plate and Sterics is just so perfect. The amount of damage you'll be able to soak with two massive shields will make you unkillable when ahead. As a result of the recent Divine Sunderer nerfs, we're seeing many Gnar one tricks swap over to Gore Drinker. The main benefit to running Gore instead of Divine is for a much stronger team fight. Gnar is most impactful when in mega form, looking to dive in for those multi man ult plays. Gore Drinker active is extremely high value in those situations, as the heal scales off of how many champions you hit. Instead of the more common Sterix, Black Cleaver is the second item in combination with Gore. You've got way more ability haste from this setup, in turn, rendering your effectiveness in mega. Gnar super deadly. Gore Drinker active cooldown is reduced by haste, so the cleaver buy synergizes well with that aspect too. All in all, this setup is very heavily focused around Mega Gnar, whereas the more common Divine Rush will give you more dueling power in mini form. Complete full build is Gore Drinker into Black Cleaver and Thornmail third. One more thing to note rune-wise is that Gnar OTPs prioritize Conqueror at a higher rate. Triumph, Alacrity, and Last Stand round out primaries, while Bone Plating and Overgrowth are optimal secondaries. The Ghost Blade buffs have turned the item into a must-buy on so many different champions, and Rengar is one of them. It's actually insane the discrepancy between OTP Rengars and your average solo queue Rengar for 11.18. By far the most popular one trick Rengar build is a Ghost Blade Rush into Dusk Blade Second, which has a 12% play rate. When you filter through the average Rengar, this same build only has a 2% play rate and is the 10th most popular. The best Rengar players know how to adapt quickly and are abusing this new setup while they can. Ghost Blade was arguably over buffed last patch as the item is cheaper, provides haste, and has a smoother build path all in exchange for 5 less AD. 
Active and passive from Ghostblade allow you to be insanely mobile, which is exactly what Rengar wants. Being able to zoom across the map and clean up those stragglers will lead to so many more kills and a greater snowball. We already went into detail on Fleet Rengar in our Korean builds video last week as it's very undervalued right now. Conquer and Electrocute are also viable options, however since this build is focused around one-shotting with lethality, Electro is much better suited. Another assassin jungler that one tricks are taking advantage of the Ghostblade rush on is Kane. Ghostblade into Gore Drinker is what Kane one tricks are winning the most on in solo queue. The build is very niche at the moment though, as only 1% of average Kane players have caught on. Form completion with Ghostblade is the ultimate spike that allows you to start taking over. Move speed from E combined with Ghostblade lets you maneuver around the map at lightning speed and pick off kill after kill. Movement speed in general is one of the most undervalued stats in the game, especially for solo queue. Third item in your build path will be a man immune, so don't forget to grab an early tier to get that stacking. Your one shot potential on this three item spike combined with the immense mobility allows you to stomp games when ahead. For the rune page, Dark Harvest and Conqueror are viable options. Conqueror is going to offer stronger skirmish potential while Dark Harvest will scale better for those late game one shots. Just before we head on to the next build, are there any other setups that you're abusing right now that you think are very underrated? Are you a one trick and have a secret setup that you think more people should be using? Let us know down in the comments below. One trick fizz players are dominating with a Zanya's rush while the average fizz continues to rush Night Harvester. Harvester has been almost completely phased out by Fizz OTPs, and they're exclusively spamming Zanyas into Luden's second. Zanyas is the most popular rush for Fizz one tricks, and also has the highest win rate for any first purchase. Rushing Zanyas is so great on Fizz, as it allows you to play hyper aggressive and fish for dive plays whenever ultimate is available. Invulnerability from E combined with the Zanyas stasis lets you dodge tower shots with ease. It's as if the enemy tower doesn't even exist, because when you're ahead, your opponent won't be safe at all hugging their turret. Lucidity boots are more popular than Sork shoes as stacking as much haste as possible is super valuable. Once you have Zanyas, Ludens, and Lucidity boots completed, ultimate cooldown drops to 55 seconds. The complete core build is Zanyas Rush, Luden second, and then Lich Bane third. For runes, grab Electrocute with Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collector, and Ravenous Hunter. Triumph and Coup de Gras work best for secondaries. Instead of rushing the more popular Kraken Slayer or Wit's End, many Uction one tricks have been abusing a Shield Bow Rush. Although the damage potential of Shield Bow isn't that of Kraken Slayer, the lifesteal and shields you get is often more valuable. Uction wants to be swinging into fights with E and needs to get relatively up close to deal his damage, so Shield Bow is great in that regard. Uction one tricks who rush Shield Bow are prioritizing Wit's End second, which is a disgusting two item spike. Even after the Wit's End nerfs, it's still a very strong item, so if you're playing against a heavy AP enemy composition, this build will shut them down super hard. Being able to build two items that deal amazing damage yet still give you insane defensive stats is the recipe for success. Third item to round out your build path will be a Rage Blade. For runes, press the attack is the most optimal with Presence of Mind, Bloodline, and Coup de Gras. Run Shield Bash and Bone Plating for secondaries. Up until the past few patches, Caitlyn builds have always consisted of crit items, but that started to change. The most popular solo queue Kate build right now is Gale Force into Storm Razor. However, one tricks are abusing lethality. Duskblade Rush into the Collector 2nd and Fire Cannon 3rd is what Kate OTPs are spamming in solo queue. After Kate Q saw an AD ratio buff, the build started popping up and is really great in the correct situations. Lethality will always be more valuable when against squishy enemy comps, so prioritizing it then will be most optimal. Q and Ultimate will hit like a truck with this setup and catch the enemy off guard on so many occasions. Dark Harvest will be your keystone, which will make those snipes with ult even more successful. Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collector, and Ravenous Hunter round out primaries. Absolute Focus is great in secondaries for even more ability damage, and Gathering Storm helps pad your mid-game spike. Divine Sunder and Essence Reaver have been the most popular rush items on Ezreal this season, while Trinity Force has been pushed to the wayside. Since Divine was just recently nerfed, Ez one tricks are shifting over to Trinity Force and winning at very high rates. About 20% of Ezreal OTPs are rushing Trinity compared to just 6% on average. Divine is still a great purchase against those tankier comps, but Trinity is super undervalued otherwise. Your dueling power and extended skirmish potential is really underrated from Trinity due to the ramping base AD and movement speed from passive. Second item is very standard, as you'll always pick up Man Immune and then grab Cyrilda's or Frozen Heart third, depending on the situation. Conqueror will be the keystone with Presence of Mind, Bloodline, and Coup de Gras. Grab Biscuits and Cosmic Insight for secondaries. 
A setup that the majority of Blitz players are not taking advantage of while one tricks are abusing right now is running Guardian as the keystone. Win rate of Guardian rolls over Aftershock as Guardian users are winning 54% of the time compared to Aftershock at 51%. Every patch we are seeing the player to Guardian rise among Blitz OTPs as it shot up from 20 to 40% just recently. Your early game all in plays are so much better with Guardian as you not only provide yourself with a defensive shield, but your ADC as well. Aftershock helps you become really tanky, but it's your ADC who the enemy bot lane will want to focus, so providing them with a shield is often more valuable. As for the build, it's a Locket or Shirelia's Rush into Zeke second and Knight's Vow third. The complete rune page is Guardian with Font of Life, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. Best secondaries are Biscuits and Cosmic Insight. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little bit more about Skill Capped. So, we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium league guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week. With over 1,600 guides curated into over 100 courses, no one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell 714 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $4.99 a month if you are serious about improving. So those are 10 builds one tricks are spamming that the majority of players aren't. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one.